Turns out that my self-reliance's life might not be as cool, calm, peaceful, or real as it appears. My self-reliance could be the coolest off-the-grid lifestyle YouTube channel. And though we may have stuck around the channel for some time because of the calmness and the intriguing lifestyle led by Sean James, there are some skeletons in his closet that we should be aware of. The darker side doesn't feature anything encouraging about the channel, though. For example, Sean James recently explained to his followers that he was moving, which is quite shocking given that his life and his YouTube channel have been centered around building his own log cabin home, and a number of outbuildings in the huge tract of forest lands in the Canadian wilderness. He noted that one of the reasons for the move was the fact that the thousands of acres that surrounded his land was being purchased by developers, and that would mean an end to his once quiet life and the solitude he had enjoyed for years. Sean's other reason for moving was that the developments would mean neighbors, and the fact that he is used to solitude implies that he just has to move. But not just that, the neighbors were turning into a nuisance. Sean has reported that his neighbor has been infringing on his privacy, to the extent that the police had to be called in to intervene. He noted that the neighbor had been recording sounds and then playing them back through the loudspeakers, interrupting his sleep and even his filming. He feels targeted and harassed, which has been classified as criminal harassment, and he had the police involved, which is one of the biggest reasons he decided to move. Sean reported that the same neighbor had set up equipment across the roads, running from Sean's driveway, and he recorded his movement as well as his family. While Sean had no idea what the culprit did with the recorded footage, the guy's equipment was stolen later on and unfortunately, Sean was blamed for it. But the problems didn't end there. And as all of these things unfolded, Sean's YouTube channel started to suffer a great deal because these malicious people started turning his viewers against him. And the sad bit is that they didn't just start. These problems have been ongoing for years. As this worsened, Sean didn't talk much about it, but he and his family suffered. And the final straw was when said neighbors started making vulgar and disrespectful comments about his daughters online. The first thing he did after these incidents was to move his daughters and wife out of the cabin, as he worked out the kinks to move out too. While the police eventually stopped the neighbor from threatening him, Sean notes that the place he once called home is no longer a safe home for him, but a war zone, and a place he no longer is prepared or willing to stay in. So while his and his family's life was quiet and fun in the Canadian wilderness, he's no longer willing to lead the same lifestyle in the same location. Soon, he and his dog Callie will move out because he didn't sign up for a life of abuse and attack from people with malicious intentions. But then, this is not the only thorn in his otherwise perfect life. Some of his subscribers now claim that Sean has been living a double life all the time. They noted that while he complains about harassment, there is the possibility of him leading the outdoor lifestyle during the day, but going back home in the evening to take a shower and then watch Netflix. The subscribers note that his outdoor lifestyle is only his occupation, and he doesn't live outdoors full time. Of course, we can't verify this, but if you think of it, it is a possibility, right? Thanks for watching.